Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We're so excited to have Kenny, aka Kenny Flowers, in the house today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. That's Your sure life looks Great like so much fun. I mean, you're a lifestyle lover turned entrepreneur, and everybody's BFF, right? Even like this monkey and this pup. Right? <laughs> I mean, it's like you gotta be wow. friends with the locals wherever the you go. And all these beautiful women. I mean, Kenny Flowers, you have got it made, don't you? I mean, it's definitely, um, definitely a great lifestyle that I have. I enjoy being able to combine. Uh, my love for entrepreneurship and the ability to enjoy life at the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what, you know, a lot of people out there is, they want that li la laptop lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But how does that work? Like, don't you get a little bit tired of being on the road all the time? Um, I mean, it can be tiring to be on the road, absolutely, but it's also really exciting to be in new places and to really develop your own routines, levels of responsibility to yourself and just being able to make sure you're taking care of business wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. So talk to us a little bit. I know, you know you've got such an interesting story, and while there are themes that are similar to what other people may have experienced, mm -hmm. you still, it's still very different. So take us back to like how this whole thing started. Absolutely. I mean, it really it went back to um, you know, my love for Hawaiians. My dad gave me this hand-me-down Hawaiian shirt when I was in college, and I wore it so many times. <laughs> but every time I wore it was such a great memory. So when I'd look in the closet and I would see that shirt hanging there, I'd want to wear it. I'd be like, there is something great that's going to happen when I put this on. <laughs> yeah, um, so to me, you know, I, I loved my you know, corporate job out of college, but at the same time, I loved the weekends and all the memories and good times that I was able to have, not only you know, within the cities like New York and Boston that I was living, but also vacations and such too. Mm -hmm. um, so I really realized this opportunity to, I don't know, to just to go for it, quit the job, move to Bali, and kind of put my own interpretation on this type of shirt so more people could experience that feeling that I had. Were you hesitant at all? I mean, that's so off the cuff. I quit my job in New York and I moved to Bali and started a shirt business. Were you scared at all? Um, you know, I, was, I honestly was never really scared. I was more excited about it. Um, I started just lofting the idea out there to my friends and family and really whoever I was talking to that asked that, oh, so what do you do question? And I got such great response. Some people would laugh. Some people would say that's an awesome idea, but no one said no. Mm. So when I realized that it was maybe an idea worth, worth acting on, my dad gave me such great advice that I'd love to share with really anyone that's an entrepreneur thinking of acting on an idea, which is make sure you're comfortable with the risks. If you can think through the worst case scenario of giving something a go and knowing that you're okay with that happening, then there's no reason why you shouldn't try it. Wow. So once I knew that, I was able to hop on the plane confidently without knowing a thing about how to make, mm -hmm. you know, an article of clothing and go figure it out. Kudos put my heart to Pops, into it. gotta say, right? Really, really awesome when our parents support us, for sure. And it's, it's interesting too, and, and you're absolutely right, Aaron. It's interesting too that when you begin to think out that worst case scenario, like it didn't scare you off because mm -hmm. I think most people, so many people want to do what you've done. They really do. They want to leave their corporate job or they want to leave the nine to five. They want to go for their dreams. They want to move to mm -hmm. Bali. But when they think about the worst case scenario, they're like, I don't want to be homeless. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, to me, I knew that the experiences I would be getting over the few months of trying to start a company would be invaluable and nothing you can learn on the job or learn in school. So for me, I knew that those three months that it really took to give myself, you know, full energy, focus on the shirts was, um, you know, it would be worth it. I said, worst comes to worst, I'll have a couple hundred shirts that I can wear. <laughs> yeah, you wear Hawaiian shirts every single day. Yeah. Which I do now, you know, so best of both guy, worlds. There's some guy in New York right now, he's like, you know, watching this in the middle of doing something and work, and he's going, I would love to wake up and throw on a Hawaiian shirt in the morning and be on the beach on my laptop doing this. So what do you say? Like, what, what, what are some steps someone could take? Um, I think, you know, the most important step is to really figure out what it is you're passionate about. Um, I could not start a suit company. You know, if I did that and tried selling my friends on it, they wouldn't, they wouldn't feel the heart behind it. Maybe you could, though. Um, I could do it just blazers. Yeah, just blazers, yeah. just blazers, full not full suits. suits. Too much commitment. Exactly. Um, so I think really the most important thing is knowing what you're passionate about. You're going to be doing that every day. There's going to be days where it feels like work. There's going to be days where it feels like complete play and the best thing ever. So in order to get through the like the harder days, you have to know that 
you know, you're really working towards something that you enjoy. Cool. And it's all monkey business. Take a look at Kenny and this monkey right so here, awesome. right in Bali. How cool is that? I mean, really, when I travel or when I'm in a place, I'm always thinking, you know, what could, how could this experience come to life? So over in Bali, there's this monkey forest that's yeah. five minutes from in where Ubud. I stay in Amazing. Ubud. And, you know, it led me to this idea, why not make a shirt with monkeys on it? And, you know, I went in there, I like had some local artists that were on the ground that could help me like bring these funky designs to life. And that's really what created that right. one. One of the things I love about you so much, Katie, is that you're so authentic. You're, you're, you're able to embrace fully who you are, and you can see that and feel that in your brand. For sure. Mm -hmm. Has that always been the case? Have you been always comfortable in your own skin and in your own shirts? Or um, I have. I've, you know, I've never been like the most vocal person per se, but I've always done the best to like lead by example. Um, so although I don't encourage everybody to quit their job and go try to start Hawaiian shirt companies, I do think they're able to, you know, maybe take something from my case study and you know find their way find what they're interested in or just find that what they're looking for in life there's nothing wrong with like having a job that you love and being able to you know shut the phone the computer off at five, six, seven, whatever right. it is, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Right. Well, we're all going to have to get some Hawaiian shirts or some Bali shirts, rather. It's the time of year. And we're going to go take a trip down to Bali because we love Bali and we've been talking about over and over on the show. So Happy to host you to and at least give the best happen. Happen. <laughs> yeah, for sure. tell, us, tell everyone where, you can, where they can find you. Um, so you can find me online, kennyflowers.co, not .com. Um, that's a flower shop in LA, actually. Yeah. Um, but if you are looking to get a feel for like the softness of the shirt, to really find out what design works best for you, and you live in LA, we're in um, Ron Robinson, Fred Siegel on Melrose, oh, nice. and the flagship in Santa Look Monica. Look at you, so, Just Fred Siegel. Just Fred Siegel. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's so great. I'm so excited to try one on. Thank so you. I could use some Hawaii. I probably have some in the car. <laughs> <laughs> we could all use a little monkey business in our lives. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more on Good Morning Wildland.